It's a win for me. My cells are booming. So thanks for the video. My cells are booming. Welcome back to YouTuber Headlines, my unapologetically unfiltered commentary all about YouTubers. Today we're talking about Ashley from Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Last week I made a video all about Ashley joining an MLM. Yes, Red Aspen is an MLM. I go into detail about this in my video that I posted last week. I will link it down below in the description box. You can go check that out if you're interested. In today's video, I wanna talk about the fact that Ashley is bragging about her Red Aspen sales, and she also compared Red Aspen to Amazon. So I'm going to debunk that because I 100% do not agree with her statement. So let's get started. Appreciated it. Um, I will say some of you guys are messaging me that somebody created a video about me with Red Aspen. It's okay, it's a win for me. <laughs> my sales are booming. I'm pretty sure she's referring to my video here because I couldn't find another video on her about Red Aspen. And I just wanna say that this is the typical influencer YouTuber response. Thanks for the video, it's helping my sales. When I doubt very seriously, anybody that watched my video actually went over and bought nails from her. And if any of my viewers did go over and buy nails, from Ashley, I'm completely fine with that because I think everybody is an adult and everybody can make their own decisions and support who they wanna support in life. I have no problem with that at all. But I will say, I think it's a little tacky to come on Instagram and brag about how your sales are booming and they're through the roof and you're doing so good and making so much money in this MLM that you joined. I think it is a privilege to be an influencer and a YouTuber these days. You're making so much money during the pandemic. You get to work from home, create your own schedule, Tiffany Ferg was actually talking about this in her most recent video, and she explains it so well. If they reach a certain point, influencers can make a lot of money for very little work. It's an extremely privileged way to earn income, especially as proven throughout this pandemic. It's a major privilege to work for yourself online and have a flexible schedule. But I want to acknowledge that most people in the U.S. and other areas around the world are not in this privileged position. They cannot afford to work less. Many people work more than 40, 50, 60 hours per week and still aren't earning a living wage. I 100% agree with what Tiffany is saying, and I really feel it's tacky for her to come on and brag about her sales. She is privileged to have the job that she has. This is a good example of why I always tell you guys, if you're gonna watch someone on YouTube and support their channel and watch their videos, you need to check them out on other social media platforms because Ashley is responding in this way over on Instagram. And I don't believe she would ever include this in one of her videos until Vacuum Do Us Part. So you would never see this response over on her YouTube channel till Vacuum Do Us Part. So it's important before you give someone your view on YouTube and support their channel, which means you are sending them money every time you view their videos, follow them on all of their social media platforms and sometimes you'll see a different side of them. Um, if you guys want your rod to a nails, all you do is click on the link and you pay for it and they send it to you. There's nothing wrong with that. I do make a commission, but it's just like that with Amazon. So and this is where I disagree with Ashley. It's completely different from Amazon. And I'm gonna tell you guys why today. If you go over and look at Ashley's Instagram page, she says that she is a brand leader manager with Red Aspen. She has a title with Red Aspen. Well, in order to get a title and kind of move up in their ranking, you have to recruit. And that's also referred to as a downline. So in order for Ashley's title to change, which it has changed in the beginning, she was a senior brand leader when I made my first video, and currently she is a brand leader manager. Her ranking, she's moving up, which means she has a larger downline. And a downline is someone who signs up under you to sell red Aspen nails. Amazon doesn't work that way. Amazon is an affiliate link that you click on and you make a purchase. Now, I will say with red Aspen, you can choose to go that way. You can never recruit 
and only provide swipe up links for purchases and never recruit. But Ashley did not take that route with Red Aspen. Some of her viewers are signing up under her to sell nails, which in the long run makes her money. The more people you recruit, the more nails they sell, the more money Ashley makes. So when she compares this Red Aspen to Amazon, I completely disagree. It's completely different. Ashley doesn't have a title with Amazon. She only has affiliate links with Amazon. She has affiliate links with Red Aspen too, but Ashley is increasing her rank with Red Aspen. And so what does that mean? Well, it means she's making more money and it means she is creating a downline, which means she is recruiting members. She is recruiting viewers to sign up under her to sell all of the Red Aspen products. With Amazon, you don't do that. You don't recruit a team with Amazon. It's completely different. And the fact that she's not being completely upfront about that kind of rubs me the wrong way because you rely so much on your viewers. She does. Her viewers are everything. Her viewers watch her videos. Her viewers use her affiliate links. Her viewers buy Jaws products that she promotes all the time. Her viewers buy all of these red Aspen nails. Her viewers watch her videos and leave comments and engage with her YouTube videos, which makes her a lot of money, which helps grow her platform, which makes it very easy for her to join MLMs and make a lot of money because of the platform that she has. So just be upfront, be honest, be clear about what you're doing. Um, I had to dig my eyelashes out of the trash to put them on because... And right here, she's trying to give like a real life moment update I feel like she's really trying to be relatable to her audience and to viewers. And to me, this clip that she shared about digging her old eyelashes out of the trash can to put them on makes her completely unrelatable. Because what woman can't go out without her false eyelashes on? That just sounds so unrelatable and crazy to me. I can go outside of my house and go shopping, go anywhere without false eyelashes on. And the fact that she can't makes her so unrelatable. And the fact that she doesn't see that makes her even more unrelatable. Because most women can go outside their home, go shopping, go to dinner, with just a little mascara on. I think you do your thing, whatever you wanna do, mascara or false eyelashes, but I think women are beautiful with just mascara. I woke up and went to put new ones on and for some reason I'm out. I'm never out. I normally always have like three boxes, don't I? Yep. How I ran out, when I ran out, I don't know, but I literally have eyelashes on from the trash. And that's definitely a first world problem right there. How could you ever run out of eyelashes? How could she let that happen? Okay, I'm having a little fun right there, but you guys understand what I mean, right? I don't think it's necessary to have to have false eyelashes on every time you go outside your house. That's my opinion. And I know everybody won't agree with me. That's completely fine. But let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching.